Today we will show you how to make neckline using piping. For this, we have taken this cloth. In this we will make neckline. And from this we will make piping. First of all, we will trace the neck on fusion paper. This is fusion paper. Now we will fold it in this manner. This is closed side and this is open side. From the closed side, we will take breadth of the neck. We have taken breadth of the neck as 3 inch and length of the neck as 7 inch. Now in this corner we will make a mark of 1 inch. Now on the closed side we will make a mark of 1 inch in this way. From here also we will take 1 inch. Now we will join these two. In this manner. Now we will make a curve through this line. We will make a curve on this side also. So we will make a curve on this side and this side. Now we will cut this. We will keep the margin of 1 inch and now we will cut this. First you take measurement, make neck of your size, then trace it on the fusion paper. We will make neck in this cloth, so we will stick the fusion paper on this cloth. On this fusion paper, one side is wax and other side is plain. We will keep the wax side on the cloth. We will keep the cloth properly. Now we will stick this with the help of iron. After that we will leave the margin of half inch. Now we will cut the extra cloth. Making neckline with fusion paper is simple and easy. Now we will show you how to stitch the neckline. For making neck, first we will make piping. For making piping, we have taken these stripes. We have cut these in the crossed cloth. 
Now we will fold it once and stitch along the sides. We will make double stitching over here. On the closed side, we will leave a little distance and we will keep the remaining cloth on the open side. We will make one more stitching on this. We will make few more stitching on this. Now we will cut the extra cloth. Now we will make the cloth even from this side. We have taken this needle. Now with the help of this, we will invert the piping. First hold the piping from the closed side. In this way, we will push the cloth inside with the help of the needle. Now we will stretch it in this manner. So our piping is ready. Now we will stitch this neck. Now we will fold the extra cloth. We will make a mark on the center. Now over here, we will hold it in this manner and make a cut mark over here. Now we will join these two marks in this way. On this cloth, we will attach the neckline. First, we will hold the shoulders equally. Here, we will make a cut mark. From here, we will measure them equally, which is 7 inch. Now, we will cut this. From the closed side, we will mark the neck, which is 3 inch. The center which we have made over here, from here, we will mark in this manner. On this mark, we will make a small cut. We will keep the neck in the manner that fusion cloth is above and plain cloth is below. Carefully place the center of the cloth over center of the neck.
and the mark of the cloth should coincide with the fusion paper. After that, we will stitch along the center. Now we will stitch along the fusion paper. After that we will cut the inside cloth leaving a little margin. We will make small cut marks over here but while cutting Make sure that you don't cut stitches. Now we will remove these stitches. We will turn it below. This is front side. Now we will hold this. and stitch along the side. Now from here we will measure 4 inch. We'll make a mark. On this side also we will mark at 4 inch. From here till center we will attach a piping. The same way we will attach piping on the other side. We will measure the required piping and cut the rest of it. We will not keep the piping straight. We will keep it little slant. Similarly, we will attach the piping on the other side. We will keep the piping at equal distance. Now we will cut them from the center. Similarly, we will attach the other piping. We have made the pieces of piping approximately of 4 inch. Now we will tie them in this manner. We have kept the neck upside down. Now on this side, we will tie the pipings. We will hold the piping like this. Then put it below. Hold the side. Then hold the loop. And 
move the ends towards the loop to tie a knot. Now pull it to make it tight. Similarly, we will tie the other piece. We will spread both the ends in the opposite direction. After keeping it below the cloth, we will stitch on it. Now we will stitch the other piece. The end of the new piece should be kept on the previous one. The other end of the piece should be spread apart. We will keep them below the cloth. We will stitch them together. Similarly, we will stitch the other pieces. Now our neckline is stitched and it's ready. If you want, you can make it as back neckline, you can even make it as deep and broad or as front neckline. If you like this video and want to watch more such videos, then subscribe our channel. You can even like us on Facebook.